Welcome to TradingMBA.com. This is John's report. It's for the 14th of October. Everything's right as rain. Market reaching new highs. We're getting so close to that uh, 6,000 level. And, you know, when you think back to like 2009 and we were at 600 and here you are uh, nearing 6,000. You know, market bottomed out at what, 666? And who knows? The top could be 666, 666. Who knows? You know, a lot of sixes there, interestingly enough. But um, as it is, uh, you know, the inflation driver of things is clear. Uh, there's no new headwind uh, developed beyond what is already known. The only new question is the election. Uh, you can see that shorts getting excited at these levels. They keep thinking that uh, the, the floor is coming out of, uh, you know, everything. Um, but with that decrease in rates, uh, I think you just push things out until uh, beginning of next year where you start to see more inflation. Of course, we already saw the beginnings of it, uh, but that's only going to accelerate uh, as we move forward. From an NQ standpoint, you can already see MBI White starting to take the lead. This could have some negative pressure, particularly we can see also um, DOC cyan crossover of green. You still have slightly rising red, and this is all in a continuation from the buildup from the that rising gold. So as long as the shakeout is remaining positive with the rising gold, it's all good, relatively speaking. Are we likely to see huge uh, movement? Probably not so much. Um, I think you're just going to see rotations back and forth in the different sectors at this stage, simply because it's just going to be election gaming and trying to figure out uh, who's going to be there and what the best sectors for that would be. From a treasury standpoint, though, you can see that yield having to rise in order to attract uh, anyone who would want to lose money by buying treasuries. <laughs> because uh, the, the amount of inflation that's going to go uh, forward thinking, it's difficult to predict, but it's certainly going to be um, at least near the acceleration rates that we saw before. Uh, maybe not quite as significant, but uh, you have the buildup. And this becomes a question of oil. And as long as geopolitical situation remains calm as it has, uh, you know, you're always on the precipice of something, but hasn't materialized yet. But still, having oil at these levels, it's a built in. Uh, increase in inflationary pressures uh, and of course as we talked about oil directly inverse relationship for the euro because they have to convert to dollars and that's just the long and the short of it from that standpoint but this isn't going to stop gold's going to continue its uh, rise and there isn't anyone stopping it because they're not going to cease printing money particularly as we go into the election now after the election we'll see if anything changes but you didn't have that catastrophic effect from the disasters i mean of course for the individuals in those areas absolutely was but um, from a broader economic standpoint it's uh, not crippling uh, like it could have been uh, from a energy supply situation in that. But as we talked about, uh, it was just a matter of time before we started to see Bitcoin and the other uh, cryptos start to become the haven again for uh, hedging against that inflationary rise, uh, particularly some thinking that the gold trade is overoccupied and they've got a discount with uh, cryptos. And that'll be a little bit of the back and forth that we see between those. But uh, even ETH making a little move, still well behind uh, their previous uh, elevations, but those were during the real significant runs of inflation where it was uncertain whether the Fed would get control of anything. Not that they have. In fact, they lost complete control of it and have had no control for, for some time. Uh, and that's just because of a spending situation where you're just able to continue to print ridiculous amounts of money with no end in sight. Uh, from FDK, pretty clean from the buy turnaround, and that only accelerated all the way to the peak, and we still don't have any MBI white leading, so at this particular stage, it's just a matter of following uh, the magenta and gold relationship. As long as magenta is leading, you're gonna continue to push towards the upside of things, but um, we've been in a little bit of a DOC spread, so that's been some of that back and forth that you see going on in there. But overall, uh, fairly clean, and all positive to the upside. We look at it intraday, you can see that the buying started right at the pre-market and just accelerated from there. And it was uh, pretty clean from there. Again, barely a partial refill. That leaves a lot of exposure uh, further down, um, somewhere in that 58.30 range.
So there's that potential for that fill coming back in, at least from an early part. You can see in the pre-market here, we were soft, just cutting out some of the excess, you know, clearing stops, so to speak. But overall, I think that uh, we'll probably see another big uh, week for option runs, and that will create the volatility that will push us back and forth. So it's just going to be a matter of following your intraday uh, paint bar setups. But overall, uh, just kind of gliding here into the election uh, at this particular stage, unless something uh, dramatic happens. But overall, uh, we'll see it in the readings because the money will shift. As always, though, anything relevant, I'll put on the Skype chat for you. Have a good one. Trade well.